sounds slightly technical, mm -hmm. but it's a question of what is called the inversion of the yield curve. It means that the short-term interest rates in the United States become higher than long-term runs. This is very, very rare. It only occurs about once every 10 years, and it occurred, started to occur last July. And therefore, you had, on the one hand, propaganda by the United States saying that the situation is very good and but President Biden was doing press conferences to say how wonderful the situation was. But if you looked at the money, as opposed to the words, something was going very seriously wrong. Mm -hmm. And that's, it's been doing so since about July last year, and then it exploded um, just during, during, during the last weekend. And this is showing you that the situation in the US economy is not stable and it's going to have negative consequences, the, 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 particularly in the struggle against inflation. The Fed is going to be more worried that its increase in its interest rates is going to lead to a very disastrous um, crisis in the financial system. It's going to be more cautious and that means it's going to be more difficult to control inflation. And we know over the medium term, inflation is one of the most destabilizing things you can possibly have in the economy. So these state companies in China, because they can move their level of investment up and down, gives China much, much stronger anti-crisis um, measures that it can take than other countries. The key to the success of China's economy is the or recent one is the structure which was created in 1978 and which has continued to the present day and which has been maintained, which is the combination of, on the one hand, very large companies which are owned by the state and which provide a solid backbone for the economy and incidentally give it tremendous anti-crisis potential.